There are definitely more ways you can do this. The most obvious to me would be to sculpt the pumpkin on the outside of a marble or a large dotting tool. But there are a few things about the method that I don't like. You'll need to have a ball tool or a marble in the exact size you want your pumpkin. You could end up squishing some of the details in the back while working on the front. And most importantly, not everyone has a large dotting tool or a marble. So to make it as easy as possible, I chose to make my own mold. I used mold putty, but you can also use polymer clay. This way you're only able to work at half a pumpkin at a time, but you won't ruin any of the details. It's also a lot easier when you're going to carve out the face, as the pumpkin lies flat on the table. You're going to need two colors of polymer clay, one for the inside and one for the outside of the pumpkin. Roll them out on your past machine. You want the yellow layer to be the thickest. Cover the mold with clay and cut off the excess. I'm using my regular dotting tools to make the details. Use a toothbrush to add some texture. To carve the face, I'm just using an exacto knife. You can cut off the top of the pumpkin before or after you bake it. To make the lid I cut out a circle and textured it with dotting tools. Then used a pale brownish green for the stem. Bake all the pieces for about 10 minutes. Then put the pieces together using liquid clay. 